Hello again year one and two, it's Miss Hawks back with you for some more phonics this week. This will be my last session with you this week because Friday is a bank holiday so there won't be a Friday session this week. So I just want to play some games with you today and have a little bit of a practice of the graph themes that we looked at last time. If you remember we focused on which sound? That's right, the th sound. And there were three different graph themes that we could use to make it. So I've got another silly sentence for you today. Again, you can read it yourself or listen to me and look for all of those graphemes. OK, are you ready? Frank the dolphin's fins are not fluffy or furry. I'll read it one more time. Frank the dolphin's fins are not fluffy or furry. Did you spot them all? Let's see. One, two, three, four five, six graphemes for you today. And hopefully you've remembered from our last session that the three main graphemes that we use to make that f sound are F on its own, the double F digraph, or the PH digraph. Okay, so we're going to look at the new Phonics Play website today and we're going to start off with a game looking at that oi sound that we looked at last week and we're looking at the oy digraph that is going to be the graphene that we use to make it in this game so the dragon's eggs are going to pop up we're going to sound them out together so i need tapping fingers and hands ready and then you can give the screen a thumbs up if you think it's a real word or a thumbs down if it's a nonsense word if it's a real word, be ready to tell the person at home a sentence that uses it. Remember, you can pause me so that you've got time to do that. This is one of the games that's on the new Phonics Play site. But just like the old Phonics Play site, remember, it is free at the moment. So it's worth you and your family going to have a look on there. So the first egg, off we go. J boy, joy. Thumbs up or down. That's right. Thumbs up. It's a real world. The children's faces were full of joy. Happy dragon. Okay, next word. Off we go. D F or boy. D floy. No, thumbs down. Nonsense word. Off we go. B boy. Boy. That's right. Real word. The boy was playing in his garden. T boy, toy. Another real word. I like to play with an any new toy. Off we go. G boy, boy. Not heard that word before. Off we go. G or boy. Gloy. Another nonsense word. Off we go. N boy. Noy. Another nonsense word. Off we go. E n boy. Enpoy. No, I've heard of enjoy, but not enpoy. Off we go. N -br -oy. And Roy, that's definitely an alien word. And the last one, R -oy -o. Royal. That's an interesting word because it uses the OY grapheme in the middle. That's quite unusual. Royal. Yes, that's a real word. The Queen is a member of the royal family. Now, I know we've got nine right. And it's a score out of 10. And in class, you like to get the last one wrong. So shall I accidentally feed it to the wrong dragon? Should be this one. But oops, my hand slipped. Let's see what happens. Oh, dear. Well done. Fantastic. Another game that you might like to play from the new site is called Train Your Brain. This will really help with your tricky words. So if you find the Train Your Brain game and you look for phase five, and it's going to show you what it can do. So I'll just click on the introduction so it can show you what it does. Huh? 
some words don't look quite the way we expect them to. Some of these are words we use a lot. When you meet a word like this, you've got two choices. Number one, get stressed. Or number two, simply train your brain so it never gets confused again. Okay, so how can I train my brain? Say the word through. Sound talk the word. Through. Ah, look at the word. Which bit is a tricky bit that doesn't look the way we expect it to? And you can see they've circled the part here, the oo part, because it's got a quad. O, U, G and H working together to make an oo sound. Really unusual. So say the sounds again, look at each grapheme as you say them, blend them together into the word. That's why I remember now that quad's making an oo sound. Before, I might have looked at that word and said thruga, thruga, but now I know it's through. And we do this again and again until our brain is trained and we know the word really well. So we're going to try it now with one of the tricky words we looked at last week. Can you remember what this tricky word is? Okay, if I put some sound buttons on it, it might help. P e -p -ple. People. And which are the tricky bits of people? That's right, the E and the O working together to make an E sound, and an L and an E working together to make an O sound. Really unusual. So I'm going to put the sound buttons back on and keep practicing that word until I'm happy with it. Good luck practicing these games at home. It's going to really help you to get really fast at reading and writing those words that we meet lots and lots. I'll speak to you all next week. Bye bye.